this is a heads up if you uh, watch our videos or my videos I demo guitars um, I'm working with my grandson to uh, teach him how to make guitars and repair them and what they're all about and uh, he's done a lot of the work on this guitar I have three we built one these start as uh, guitars made in Japan in the 60s probably um, they have a 23 inch scale um, we take the tops off put on solid spruce tops here's one that we've just started um, the tops been roughly sawn out and put on it's book matched Engelman's, Engelman spruce from Stuart McDonald um, this one's almost done and I have some, I have to, this is my test bridge. We're gonna make the final, or a test saddle, we'll make the final saddle. It's a, a little wider bone and uh, do some more cosmetics, but uh, it's gonna be for sale on Reverb at the Dowling Sound Labs. Uh, that's my grandson's and son's outlet for the guitars that They'll be naked. Anyway, it turned out really good. The bracing system is mine, uh, and it works really well. It's extremely stable. The top is absolutely flat, and it's under some reasonable pull. Uh, the thing about the guitar is it's it's responsive. It's a little bit explosive almost, and uh, it's open. And uh, the size it's turned it's tuned ters. In other words, a normal E chord is now going to be a G. I'm in open E, so this is open G. Been playing in open uh, tunings all my life. I can't play regular, but the guitar itself will be. Anyway, the action is low. The intonation is now good. This guitar has been. Uh, We've had to level the fretboard. The neck had a bow in it, so that it's been the frets were pulled. It's been leveled and refretted with Stumac medium medium frets. These are real pearl dots. Um, these are ping tuners. They're quality tuners. They're comparable to your uh, Waverleys and things of that nature. They work really well. New pyramid bridge rosewood and. Uh, the thing is, this particular guitar turned out really nice, and uh, it has a personality. Um, whoever ends up with this guitar is going to become their friend. Uh, Sting ended up playing a Terz, and he takes it with him, or for a while at least, took it with him wherever he went. Marty Robbins also had to, his guitar of choice. Was a, I think his was a Requinto, but tuned Terz.
play this bottom string, I'm popping it with my thumb on purpose. If you fret it correctly, it doesn't buzz. Uh, it's part of my style. Um, and, uh, man, this is a nice guitar. It turned out nice. I'll play a little more here in a second. So if I demo the little thing here, this is a preliminary demo. It's not up for sale yet. Uh, we're just doing the final work on it. If I demo it playing uh, classical type stuff, it'll scare away the blues people. I started with blues stuff, scare away the classical people. Eh? string over that zoom. Did it again. And it's a nice little box. We're also doing the final profiling on the hole here. So if you look closely, it's not quite circular yet. Um, so we've got a little more work to do on it and it'll be for sale. This may end up being the demo. I don't know. So I'm noodling in the There's the D.
That's my uh, Mexican dance number two. Uh, there's a number one, but I have to retune it. Um, it was a little halting, a little stilted. Um, one of the things this thing is making me do is play more precisely for some reason.
a special guitar. <coughs> there, there's just not much doubt about it. Uh, it's also light. It's uh, surprisingly lightweight. Um, and it turned out real well, and we've got another one in the works.